To expand inspection capabilities and increase cost effectiveness, EPRI is developing a transmission line inspection robot permanently installed on and designed to automatically traverse a transmission line twice a year, collecting high fidelity information that utilities can act on in real time. As the robot crawls along the transmission line, it identifies high-risk vegetation and right-of-way encroachment and assesses component conditions by means of various inspection technologies. Results are transmitted to operations and maintenance staff, enabling them to take timely action. The robot moves along the shield wire installed above the current carrying conductors of a transmission line. In order to traverse structures and obstacles, the robot utilizes bypass systems that are permanently installed on the transmission line at the time of construction. The current version of the robot is being designed to autonomously inspect a 285-mile, 765 kV transmission line. A previous video outlines the mobility and inspection concept in detail. This video provides an update on progress and the development. In 2009, EPRI researchers began design of the robot based on industry knowledge and feedback from utilities. Many challenges were tackled during the initial design phase. Robot mobility, control and communications, a structural bypass system, sensor integration, and power requirements all posed unique problems that needed to be addressed. Preliminary 3D models and animation sequences envisioned a solar-powered robot and a system of tracks to divert the robot over insulator strings at every structure. In early 2010, the first technology demonstrator of the robot and bypass systems were constructed and tested. These preliminary tests proved the initial robot concept and provided inspiration for the continued evolution of the overall design. The method of powering the robot developed into a power harvesting system that initiated induced currents to flow locally in the transmission line shield wire. Energy is harvested from these currents to recharge the robot's batteries. A mechanical arm bridges out the shield wire insulators, making positive contact with the structure and recharging onboard batteries. A small array of solar cells remains atop the robot to provide a backup power source for motion, communications, and processing. In the autumn of 2010, a revised technology demonstrator was tested at EPRI's laboratory in Lenox, Massachusetts. A test line simulating all the worst-case scenarios the robot will encounter when autonomously traversing the shield wire of a 765 kV transmission line was built. Six different bypass systems were installed together with other obstacles such as a repair sleeve. The test loop enabled researchers to evaluate six different bypass systems as well as angles and inclinations that the robot might encounter on a typical 765 kV line. As the robot approaches a diverter, spring-loaded rollers automatically expand, disconnecting the robot from the shield wire and onto the bypass system. Once the robot has bypassed the obstacle or structure, it returns to the shield wire. The success of these tests in Lennox now paves the way for the development of the robot's other envisioned features. Development continues with modifications to both the robot and bypass system being implemented from lessons learned during testing. Researchers are also developing and testing the sensing, communications, and control systems in parallel with the mobility development. Significant progress has been made on the development and application of remote sensors with ongoing testing at numerous sites worldwide. Continued field testing of the robot is planned for the spring in 2011 with the final deployment in 2014.